If a gun is shot, and both trigger and bullets have only known the taste of strange fruits and the seeds they grow from, will the world call it tragedy? Or will we wolves open our tartarous throats and give thanks for this daily feast? Pick your lamb's wool hair from our teeth, use it to clean the barrel of the gun we gifted your mother at your baby shower, and call it Thursday. Lessons on being an African immigrant in America. One, lose your accent. People will make fun of the African girl, but nobody, nobody fucks with the black girls. Even when young, they can be so angry. Two, don't stare at white people. They're not animals in the zoo. Three, when they stare at you like an animal in the zoo, do not be confused. Do not bare teeth when they reach out to pet you, to touch your hair without permission. You are, after all, so exotic, so foreign, so other. Some would even call you inhuman. They will call you alien. They will ask you, who called your spaceship to crash land your brain, drain dreams onto these Western shores? These Western shores have already landed ships from your world when we invaded it. But this is the 21st century. We don't need chains to make slaves of people anymore. For, for the name like Mwende, Talandu, Katwiwa, the first day of school will suck. <laughs> Do not envy your brother David or blame your mother Lucy. The way their names will smooth out foreign tongues is proof that colonization and assimilation go hand in hand. You are your grandmother's legacy. Five, when black people tell you, you are really black. Remind them how Amadou Diallo's dead body looked no different than any other black man's in this gradual genocide. And I know you may not call it that in this country, but believe me when I say we know what genocide looks like. We know what it sounds like. It's white lies telling families that they are enemies. We are identical twins separated at birth, now strangers. The hardest thing we will ever learn is how to replant a family tree whose fruits are exploited and whose branches bore nooses. Six. When nearly 300 of your West Coast kin go missing and Americans claim them as our girls, refrain from asking questions like, why did it take a month and a hashtag for them to claim family when it was in the news? Or why were the 60 school boys attacked by Boko Haram claimed as our boys too? Instead, ask that they do not Kony 2012, these 234 to the backs of their browsers, that they not be the kind of family who only shows up to $12 weddings and funerals. Seven, if people ask you if you're upset, because you're on your period, the weak Al-Shabaab attacks a mall in your home country. Do not marvel at those who think blood only comes out of holes that the body has formed naturally. Eight, if you realize that you are powerless to stop your metamorphosis from the African girl to the American girl, every time you break free from Western cocoon and fly back to your roots, Resist the urge to remain pupa in the silk of stolen comforts. Confront the turbulence that will shake your flight with the truth that you are no longer sure which place is home and which is more foreign to you.